This is a Boofwang UV5R. This is a Boofwang BF-F8HP. Both of these are very fine hams radios, and both of these hams radios come from the exact same child slave labor camps run by the Boofwang Corporation of Japan. Both radios look pretty much the exact same, and both radios have the same sexy lady voice that is like having a best friend to talk to. The menus in both of these very fine hams radios are 99.9% .9 the same. In fact, there is only one difference in one menu item between these two radios. And the functionality between each of these two radios is 100% the same. However, there are three very key differences between this Boofwang UV5R and this Boofwang BF-F8HP hams radios. First of all, one costs about $18 of monies and the other costs about $50 of monies. Second of all is the stickers. One says UV5R, whereas the other says BFF8HP. And finally, the key difference, the big selling point that makes this one cost two or three times more monies than this one. This radio outputs up to five watts of RF electricities and this one can output up to 8 watts of RF electricities. And that is pretty much the only difference. However, allow me to point out that this does not mean that the more expensive 8-watt version talks more fars than the less expensive 5-watt version. For those of you with atrophied attention spans from watching too much TikTok, allow me to say that again. For all intensive purposes, in most cases on average, most of the time, you cannot talk any more FARs with the $50 radio than you can with the $18 radio. In fact, the only thing that those extra 2 or 3 watts might help you with is if you are using coax cable to connect the radio to an external antenna. In just such a case, that extra 2 or 3 watts can help make up for the watts that will be lost from the coax cable itself, but otherwise you are not going to notice any difference at all in the number of FARs that these two radios can talk. However, one thing that you will notice is this. You will notice that this battery will last longer than this battery when transmitting at the full 8 watts versus only 5 watts, and that is because those 8 watts will suck on the battery much harder than only 5 watts. And if you set both radios at low power, you will notice virtually no difference in FARs or in how long the battery juice lasts. What I am saying to you right now is that other than the price tag and the stickers, these are essentially the same thing.